the Central Alabama Community Foundation is holding a summit next week, and it's for nonprofit organizations. Joining me now is Burton Crenshaw, president of the Central Alabama Community Foundation. Burton, thanks so much for joining oh, us thank here on Alabama Live. What is this nonprofit summit? What can people expect? This is actually the third time we have partnered with Troy University Idea Bank to provide training services to nonprofits at a very nominal price. It's twenty dollars to come for an all-day session that'll cover nonprofit accounting, how to run your nonprofit like a business, and also about grant writing and how to um, apply for grants, especially in the Wiregrass area, which is an area that is near and dear to our heart because we are in the process of giving out, taking in applications to give out money in that area. And it's just another way for the Community Foundation and Troy University to give a central place for nonprofits to come for those needed extra services that they they you know to help better their nonprofits. We have a lot of nonprofit founders in our area. We we interview them here on Alabama Live. Just really good people with a good idea oh, to help. Yes. But they may not know what's next after they start that nonprofit. Exactly. A lot of times we get into nonprofit work for the passion. You want to help to people. Exactly. To serve the needs that we see are missing. But a nonprofit is a business. It needs to know how to run the finances of all those contributions people are giving to them so they can provide those services or how to apply for grants. A lot of times we hear, oh, I don't know how to write a grant. It's really not hard, and we're going to show them how easy it really is. Do people have to pay to attend? Yeah, there's just a $20 charge because we do provide lunch and some other goodies, but they can go to the Troy University Idea Bank website and just let us know they're coming just so that we know they, there's enough food for everybody. But if you haven't registered, you can still show up. It's next Thursday from 8.30 to 3 p.m. at the Idea Bank in Troy, which is a former bank so it's a neat <laughs> location and so it's just a lot of great um, information for these nonprofits to utilize. Now is this for newer nonprofits or let's say you've had your nonprofit for a few years but you say I need a refresher in this or I'm still not really good on the grant end. Can those right. folks come out as well? Of course, anybody and everybody. Um, the very first time we did this summit, we did a nonprofit grant writing piece. And some of the feedback we got was that was so good. We want it again so that they can continue to refresh. To build on those skills. Exactly. And the accounting piece came from another survey that we got from nonprofits saying, help us. So a local CPA will be providing that so that they can really see it's not that daunting. It's not hard. We're here to help provide all that that they need. Look, numbers can be intimidating, I know, from personal <laughs> experience. So I'm sure all of this is helpful information. You said just $20. Give us the date, time, and location one last time and where people can go so they can register and attend. It is next Thursday in Troy at the Troy University Idea Bank. Registration is 8. We'll get started at 8.30, and it'll go to about 3 o'clock and it's $20, and if they go to the Troy University Idea Bank website or to any of our social media platforms, they can register there. Burton, I know this is popular. You said you're going to talk about grant writing. You're going to talk about accounting. Are you? Are there plans to expand those topics? Have you gotten even more feedback? Oh, yes. Every time we do do different topics, we're bringing back this grant writing because it was so requested, but we've done social media. We've done how to build your board of directors. We've done a lot of different things things on how nonprofits can better themselves. All kinds of topics for you to just improve the work that you're doing for the communities you serve. Yes. Burton, thanks so much for joining us here Thank on Alabama Live. Us. We appreciate it.